So I got the screws out of this. If you've seen um, the first video I did on the Sonatone, this is the external earpiece setup. I'm not exactly sure. It's for the hearing impaired. Um, Sonatone made, <clears throat> pardon me, Sonatone made hearing aids. The I think they made the first hearing aids. I'm not 100 percent sure. But they made they were um, a hearing aid um, manufacturer, so <clears throat> I got the screws out of this, and these openings here, these openings. I'm sure this is a speaker that you would put in your pocket, and you you it would be closer to you. This is what I'm thinking it is. Um, I haven't taken it apart yet, but there were uh, screws. This had the little spacer. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a there's a little dinky spacer and a little bit longer screw. And this piece went here, went in this hole. And then there's a screw there, there's a screw there, and there's two screws there. <coughs> So I'm hoping this will stay here. I'm thinking it will. And I think the volume control on it will stay here as well. Come on. I know you're going to come apart here. I already got a little gap osis. A little gappy. Gaptacular. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yep. Starting to move now. I mean, stuff like this just screams quality to me. Oh, look at that. Yeah. They look like speakers, kind of, don't they? Look at the dirt and dust in it. Sure does sound like a speaker. So I doubt there's anything in there, condenser-wise. I don't think there's anything we need to really worry about. Maybe just clean this up. So it doesn't make sense to have speakers. And a headphone setup. An earpiece setup with speakers. It doesn't make sense to me. I just assume that this would go next to your ear and vibrate so if you were hard of hearing you could hear it maybe it would rattle your inner ear a little better not sure <clears throat> now it looks like this comes apart there's a screw there a screw there a screw there but I don't know what's going on there maybe they sealed it so you couldn't get in non-serviceable I'm not sure. We'll dig into that here in a minute. But interesting though. The dirt and dust on it. I don't know if we dare take those screws out. Looks like that's just holding the well, it might be holding the whole thing. I don't see what's holding those speakers down to this. There's got to be an electrical connection to them.
boy I'd really hate to damage anything by taking it apart but it's a piece of history that I can't find any information on but I'm gonna go ahead and pull these two screws Like that. Does this one fit better? Yeah, got it broke loose. And watch there be some sort of spacer under it. Let's pull one out at a time and take a look. Yeah, there is a <clears throat> shoulder bolt shoulder bolt another one another shoulder bolt Maybe see it better behind the, the whiteness of that cloth. It's kind of like a shouldered shoulder bolt. <clears throat> look under here together. Oh, look at all those fine wires. There's something there. Oh, that's a, for the volume, it's like a wire wound. Yeah, nothing serviceable in there. Nothing serviceable. I don't want to screw those wires up. Yeah, good cleaning, I'm not sure. I mean, this thing has a little heft to it, too. Whatever these are, they weigh quite a bit. Pretty good heft. Let's throw these screws back in here. They're both the same, same length. Are they? Yes. I like my snap-on pocket screwdriver. Never leave home without it. Looks like it started. Take that back apart and clean it later off camera. Just get the dust and dirt out of it. I don't think it's going to be that big a deal. Um, I'll get. I'll start taking that other piece apart here, and we'll see what that looks like inside of there. It's probably just a connector, but there is quite a bit of. This thing's got some heft to it. It weighs quite a bit, and it looks like <clears throat> this half round connect. It's a connector that plugs into that right there. Uh, let's see, this one I think has that same connector. No. Where did I, oh, right here. Half round. So this is another harness for the headset. Goes into the headset, the two go into the headset. So, I wish I had instructions for this so I knew what was what and how it worked.
I don't want to screw it up by you know plugging it into the radio and not knowing but I did look at the voltage coming out of it and um, if you keep the volume down it stays below uh, you know on the um, oh the vacuum tube voltmeter I had it on the one and a half volt scale and it never um, it never went over one and a half volts so I, I'm doubting like a I don't there's not a lot of amps behind it either that feed those speakers so looks like the same signal that would feed the speakers um, feeds this and the headset and the headset so I'll start getting that apart here and we'll come back in a minute well I got that other piece apart and boy there's a lot in there So I had a heck of a time getting it apart and this was stuck to the bottom and I'm I'm not sure if it goes in there but the way that's bent it kind of looks like it went in there it was out like this when I took it apart it could go in there or go in here and I thought well it's a slip fit and this is kind of like a spring and there's no room for it to go all the way down into the here it can't it just won't go but it does fit in there very nicely so now I probably destroyed it <laughs> but I've never seen anything like this before you know I this is just all new so to me anyway this is old technology but look how compact that is it kinda looks like a capacitor of some sort doesn't it pretty interesting and it has like a liner insulating liner of some sort I'm not sure what that is but it goes in here this way hopefully it can just slide back down in there without see I'm this is gonna screw me a little bit right here if I can make that lay flat. I don't want to. There. Back together. No serviceable parts that I could see, unless that is a condenser on the end there. Where are you going to get one to replace that with? So. I guess I'll put it back together. There were four screws. This was covered with something. I'm not sure what was what was covering that one screw. It just popped right off with the with a little uh, little working of the pick situation a little bit. It just popped right off. It's no big deal. So so I guess I'll put this back together and um, we'll try it in the radio. We'll plug it into the radio and see what happens. Gotta wonder what the heck. All right, we'll see you in a bit. Well, I've got the radio on. I gotta put the switch on just real quick here to. Okay, so. That's the earpiece position on that three position switch on the back. Um, I was looking at this has got three three pins two wires so only two of these are being used I'm looking at this is the headset piece and it's got two pins but it looks like it's the outside big pin and the outside small pin so they go together as such it will not go this way so as such this way I plug it in it doesn't work now when I had this apart earlier this connector let me see if I can this, these things really go together hard so there we go just a little bit of room is all it takes
All right. Now that looks like it matches that. All right. Big pin, two small pins, plugs in. So I'm wondering, maybe this is an adapter for something else. Maybe something else that a phonograph or something. I don't know. Um, but I got the <clears throat> pardon me. I got the um, the oscilloscope set up, and I know it's kind of hard to. But you can see already, just touching that one, without even the ground hooked up. That definitely looks like audio coming across there. Let's see if I can do this, hold this all together. I know it'll look better. I know I can get a better picture on that oscilloscope. This is not rocket science. I just want to be able to hold these both on here at the same time. Come on, why can't I do this? button on the oscilloscope so now that that looks like audio to me and I can change it with the volume turn the volume up turn the volume down looks like there's some dirtiness on there could have a bad capacitor in that circuit I need to look Maybe there's a capacitor in there I'd not see in. But if we go here, there's a little bit of tiny signal on there. But nothing, really nothing there and there. But here and here, definitely. Definitely. So we'll turn that off. <clears throat> So I'm wondering if I could just plug this in, and I don't know if this is going to make noise or not with the head headset. Maybe there's a different wiring harness that goes. I I don't know, but um, we'll plug these two in. I don't know if you can hear that. So I'm going to put it on my head here. I can definitely, it definitely is make, I can hear the radio. So it does work. It's not super loud, but that could be that 75 tube has got a weak output. I know that. Um, I'll go ahead and disconnect this. So I'm not sure what this is for. Not sure. <clears throat> I did spend a little time and polish this up some. I mean, I just kind of put, you know, a quick coat of, you know, cleaned it and then put a quick quick coat of, no matter what I do, I can't get that thing tight anymore. I, I can't get this thing to make any noise. Yeah, I'm not sure. But, uh, 
the earpiece does work. It's not real super loud, so we'll see when we get that 75 tube, and I'll investigate the circuit a little bit further in here for this. But it looks to me as though it's just coming off of the um, audio transformer. So when you flip the switch, you're either on the speaker or you're on the on the earpiece. So, all right, there it is. Okay, well, <clears throat> I have the oscilloscope hitched up in here to where the um, earpiece connects to, where it comes into the radio, the back of the switch, and that terminal, and that, yeah, terminal strip there. Um, you can see the noise. You can see a little bit of that noise in there still kind of those big wild spikes it doesn't really lay down maybe if I turn the volume down yeah you can see it the the big spikes there with the volume turned down all the way so if I let's widen this back out so if I switch these two put the grounding lead over here and connect that it goes away nice and clean signal and when I've got the earpiece on I don't hear any noise in there that I don't hear out of the speaker just the normal background crap you know that I got going on here in the workshop area so on the workbench um, so I don't think there's a problem with the uh, there is a capacitor here an old-school capacitor um, not sure what type it is it's got the <clears throat> it's got the dots on it the colored dots but if I move this wire to the other side it doesn't change it it's the same thing and I was wrong about that third position on the so this is the the earphone the ear the earpiece and the speaker on at the same time and this is the earpiece off and speaker only earpiece and speaker both earpiece only that's pretty neat And when you play it in this position with the speaker and the earphone, you can really hear it a lot better. At least I can. And I'm not hard of hearing, but it just seems to be a little more robust. But it could be because you've got sound coming in both ears. I don't know. But I'm pretty satisfied with the function of it. Um, I mean, it's old. 1938, 37. I'm surprised it even worked. I'm not sure how to make... I'm not sure how to make this speaker work. <clears throat> I'm not sure how to make that work. There are there are three wires going into this. There are three wires going into that. So I'm not a hundred percent sure. I don't know. Maybe if you unplug the the headphone I, I'm not sure how you get power because I'm assuming that third wire powers the speakers in here I could take it back apart and find out for sure I could ohm it out figure out so we know which two pins on the connector on this connector so maybe this is for maybe that that little speaker setup that I think is a speaker is for for this to plug into to something else I'm not sure I really wish I had more information on this earpiece I cannot find anything nothing absolutely nothing on this so I might just uh, I'll try and do some more research but I don't know what other resources 
you know, I've done several searches. Um, I'm not sure. So. Well, thanks for watching.